Hello Anirudh um, congratulations on your amazing rank in gate exam i hope you are doing great can you briefly take us through your background and um, like what were your previous gate attempts and what rank you have got in this year yeah of course thank you andre i took the gate once in 2022 without any preparation then i took it again in 2023 with some preparation i took it for the third time in 2024 and now i've gotten an ar6 you have got ar6 and still Uh, I could not see any happiness in your face. How was the feeling right after looking at the gate results? After we got the gate results, I was really happy. We, everyone here was really, really happy because this was something we didn't expect. Excellent. I feel like all my hard work is paid off. So first things first, why gate exam? There are a lot of other options for engineers. Like you could take GRE and you could go abroad, or you can take a CAT exam and do MBA. So why did you choose gate exam? I want to do something here in India. I want to aim for IIT or IIS or IIC because that's been my goal for a long time. I personally really want to join one of those universities. So where did you do your B Tech that you did not mention? Yeah, I did my B Tech in Vellore Institute of Technology. in the main branch at velur anirudh can you briefly let me know how was your day uh, when you were preparing for gate yeah i aim for 8 hours every day i had wake up early in the morning start studying very early in the morning to get a head start on my gate preparation so you don't yeah. have any distractions like instagram whatsapp uh, long long yeah long. i yeah i kept all of that away for gate preparation so have you taken any coaching uh, for this preparation or um, is it all through your self study earlier i took coaching from ace institute okay from ace engineering academy okay for the first attempt in 2023 afterward in 2024 i did that through self study so you have taken coaching and you used those uh, materials and you did um, self preparation for the entire year yeah awesome so for someone who is starting their preparation right now who is aiming for gate 2025 what are the resources yeah. you would like to suggest them which you have personally followed what resources you would like to uh, recommend them resources i mainly used are nptel lectures my own college textbooks the college prescribed textbooks i i had some leftover teaching materials from ace and their online tests which i used during my preparation on a scale of 1 to 10 how much do you think um, coaching has helped you i say 7 or 8 because uh, i found aces aces teaching materials and website and their online exams very helpful but i wasn't in the proper state of mind to use their online coaching so so you must have uh, written lot of mock tests right how many marks you used to get in the ending mock test just before gate exam uh, just before the mock exam i was hitting 70s and 80s pretty regularly so what about ranks ranks well i was hitting top 10 Oh, so you were consistently getting top ten. That means uh, you are pretty sure that you would get decent rank in main exam also. Yes, I was pretty sure. So, what was the toughest part in your gate preparation? I'll say the toughest part was just sticking to my schedule because even though I cut out all those distractions, there's still a lot of things going on. I still had a lot of things around me that were distracting me. So I had to really force myself, had to push myself forward. and stick to my schedule so off late i have been receiving yeah. this uh, like message from many aspirants most of the uh, messages yeah. would be like i am addicted to my i am addicted to my mobile i'm using 7 to 8 hours every day using my yeah. mobile not able to focus on preparation so yeah can we overcome that according to you yeah i think I, it can be overcome i definitely had to overcome my own to start with i cut down on my phone news because there was a big drain on my time and it was constantly in my head so i started reading a lot of books instead because it's a lot easier to put a book down than it is to put your phone down <laughs> right after that i found it a lot easier to focus on my gate preparation because there wasn't something else that was constantly occupying my thoughts so do you have any advice for future aspirants who are preparing for gate 2025 i'll say making a schedule is the most important thing if you can just keep yourself going at a consistent pace you'll start seeing your growth really skyrocket it's very important to keep a consistent schedule and to follow it another thing that i think might be overlooked is time management you always want to finish all the questions within a certain period and you'll have some leftover time to check all all your answers one more time 
I personally try to aim for two hours to finish all the questions and one hour left over to check everything. That's right. something I worked on in the mock exams. So if you could go back in time, what suggestion uh, you would like to give to your past self? First of all, work harder to stick to your schedule because I slipped one or two times. The second thing is, I would think more carefully about how I organize my overall strategy because I studied the entire syllabus one more time to make myself familiar with everything and understand it understand the basic concepts. I would say, break it down subject by subject and structure it accordingly. So what was the toughest subject uh, for you in this uh, GATE syllabus? And how did you tackle that subject? Well, for me, the toughest subjects were semiconductor technology, communications, and uh, electromagnetics. Because I was unfamiliar with them, it had been a while since I touched those topics. So those are the very first topics I studied all over again. I made sure to tackle those, first of all, to to make myself familiar with them, to give myself plenty of time to master the concepts. Nice. And I would like to know your opinion on this. Many uh, students spend almost four to five years preparing for GATE and still they could not achieve desired rank to get a good seat in IIT or uh, get into PSU. Of course, there is nothing wrong in their hands. They have given their best. But like everyone cannot get into top 500 or top 1000, right? So only 1000 people can come and yeah. Top thousand, but uh, looking at their faces, even I don't know how to console them. What would be your take on this? Uh, should they change their path and look after some other uh, career path, or should they try one more year? I think uh, after four or five years, maybe a change of career is in. I think maybe they should consider changing the career. If they change their career path. Do you think they have wasted four to five years of their prime age? No, I don't think. I don't think that time is wasted. I'm sure they learned a lot of important things in that time. Yeah, that's right, actually. So even if you spent uh, four to five years and still you could not get your desired result, yeah. it doesn't mean that you right. failed in this or uh, you are a failure. It doesn't mean that. You might have learned a lot of things. So, so it's time yeah. to reconsider your decision and look after other career paths also. There are uh, numerous yeah. paths that you can choose and you can succeed in life. Gate is not the only thing that you can um, chase for yes. lifelong mm -hmm. yeah and i personally feel that as long as you're willing to try again there's always another chance <laughs> yes because after gate 23 i felt in very low spirits i felt very depressed about my results which are not good at all i told myself okay i'll try again i'll work hard this time and i'll come up with a good strategy yeah after that i started looking up what the toppers were saying first i found this video by uh, raghuram chandra kumar and i think you collaborated with him once yeah, yeah, yeah. i watched his interviews interviews with some of the toppers and some personal study tips he gave for example all the toppers were saying make short notes write write down your formulae and I also heard some more tips like use a timer to time your sessions. So I started putting together a proper strategy based on that. Because I followed a well-structured strategy, I managed to get AIS6 this time. Awesome. Because I have been interviewing a lot of uh, gate toppers uh, from past two years. So I feel so happy talking to them, having good conversations. But at the same time, I feel so bad when someone comes and tells that I have spent four to five years preparing for this exam, but still, even this time I got 5,000, 6,000 rank. I urge them to yeah. change their career path, but they always feel uh, very big because it's really hard to change the career path also, even after yeah. spending, uh, four to five years. So yeah, you always feel a certain, hard. like you've invested. Something. Yeah, because people mostly invest their crucial prime age, right? After college, if they started 22 years, and if it goes till 26 or 27 years, because that's the age you should probably enjoy or uh, you should probably have some fun. So what yeah. are your uh, future plans, Anirudh? Where are you going to join MTech? Well, uh, I'd be really happy if I managed to join ISC. They're one of the best institutes in the country, especially for embedded technology. So are you planning to join electronic systems or uh, microelectronics and VLSA? Uh, microelectronics and VLSA, that's what I'm aiming for. Thank you so much, man. If you are preparing for GATE or ESE 2025 and planning to join coaching, I highly recommend ACE Academy. I also attended ACE when I was preparing for engineering services exam and it's one of the finest choices for GATE and ESE. They are starting new batches on 4th April and 20th April 
and if you are considering online coaching you can use the code matic10 to get 10% off on all the courses i'll add more details in description you can check it out from there with this i'm ending this video if you found this video helpful make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel take care and i'll see you all in the next video